and without the usual physical ceremonies. That is how much the COVID-19 has changed our country and turned our lives upside down. Under these very unique circumstances, I take this opportunity to wish all our citizens and friends of Kenya a very happy and rewarding Madaraka Day. I salute our dedicated health workers who have risked their lives to lead the battle against the COVID-19 from the front and made all the difference with regard to saving lives. I salute the dedicated civil servants, particularly the Ministry of Health, who continue giving their, all their best to keep us informed and safe by analyzing the trends and providing us with accurate information on where we are and what we need to do as a nation to win this battle. I particularly want to thank our Minister for Health, Honorable Mutahi Kagwe, for leading the team in the ministry in such a gallant struggle. More importantly, I salute our citizens who have taken personal responsibility in the battle against the pandemic, in addition to following the government guidelines on how to defeat the coronavirus. I wish to urge the few Kenyans who are refusing to listen to the advice by the government by desisting from overcrowding, from washing their hands with soaps and sanitizers, from going to overcrowded funeral services, and so on, that they are doing a great disservice to this country. And ask them to do what the government has been saying. You are not doing it for somebody else. You are doing it for yourself. And so doing, you will be protecting your family and you will be protecting other fellow Kenyan citizens. In this war, on this unique Madaraka Day, you, the health workers, the dedicated civil servants, and the obedient citizens are our heroes. As a country, you have done well. You have fought a good fight. You have shown the world that what other nations can do, Kenya can do better. I would also like to thank His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta for mobilizing the nation to stand firm against this pandemic. But there's room for improvement. There's room for more personal responsibility and more cooperation with the government. Fellow Kenyans, every struggle requires that we make sacrifices and forgo the comforts we are used to if we are to win. Freedom fighters endured starvation in the forests, torture in detention camps, indignity in prison to make freedom and Madaraka Day possible. If our parents resorted to excuses, chose the easy life and lamented rather than fight, Madaraka would not have come when it did. Today, more than ever before, we need to embrace the sacrifices of our parents. On this day, under these unique circumstances, let us reflect on patriotism, sacrifice, personal responsibility, dignity of our people, and respect for our nation as the goals in our battle against a disease that is determined to colonize us and turn our lives upside down. These ideals are going to be crucial not only as we battle COVID-19, but also in the gigantic task of reconstructing and rebuilding our nation. We know that most Kenyans have been adversely affected. Jobs have been lost. Homes have also been washed away through the floods. Locust is also ravaging part of our country. We are going through 
a triple tragedy. But we also know that Kenyans' resilience and the mood to fight will eventually triumph over this tragedy. We need to work together as one people and one nation so that we can rise again as a nation. By embracing the ideals that inspired the freedom struggle, we shall all be the heroes when this battle is over and won. God bless you. God bless Kenya.